like that. Okay, um, once again, uh, I'd like to thank the fan base. It was fun, great atmosphere. Um, it's a nice boost for us to play in that kind of environment. Greatly appreciate the support. Um, really appreciate our coaches and our players. Um, we just have had a good, quiet confidence about us from the you know preparation that we're doing. A lot of hard work, uh, preparing hard. Guys are sacrificing, doing the things that are necessary. Coaches are putting out great game plans, and uh, we've really had good, hard, disciplined practices and felt like we were getting better and better and uh, really feel like our guys are, are playing exceptionally hard and uh, we're executing better. Offensively looked really crisp, I thought, early and uh, against the, a quality football team. Uh, but uh, just overall, very proud of our uh, whole group, the whole, whole program, whole organization. Um, uh, been, a lot, been a lot of fun. And uh, same message as last week when I sat here, enjoy it for a few hours and uh, back to work tomorrow. So we'll be, we'll be, uh, we're excited about the opportunity we have in front of us next week. Mark, you said you, you know, would like to experience one that wasn't so close. And yeah. Got it. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't like that. They started getting a little close for my comfort in the fourth quarter, but uh, we had some guys nicked up and, and uh, some guys up front and got to get back, get healthy, and uh, look at some things. But, uh, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to... Uh, offensively, when when LSU uh, did have their one of the scores, we we responded right away and uh, came back with the touchdown, gave us a little breathing room. Can you walk us through that first play that y'all score on the fourth, the fourth and four, the, the, the crisp, the yeah. I just I felt good. I felt with the turnover, with starting the game with the turnover and having great field position. I felt like I just had uh, I just I wanted to play aggressive. I wanted I wanted to score, and uh, and if we didn't, I felt like we could uh, keep them backed up there. Mark, what was your evaluation of Will? I really thought he played exceptionally well. I, I, you could tell early on. I just to me, his comfort level was was there. You know, he looked really poised, really confident, and just going through his progression, making some really nice throws. I mean, maybe the numbers aren't overwhelming you, but I thought he was very clean. And what Liam has been working with him and being calm in the pocket, and, and uh, you could see that carrying over, and you could see his confidence stepping up. And then, you know, and then the way he lays it on the line and he runs so physical, that just gives everybody a great boost as well. He just, uh, he's a tough kid and, you know, just getting better and better. And being turnover free. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a big, you know. That that's. Uh, did we win the turnover badge battle tonight? What it was it one one nothing? What was it? Unlock? Huh? Come on, you guys all know that. <laughs> huh? The. Liam was saying they were kind of just waiting until the offense clicked. What was Will the reason why I was clicking? What what was working so well? Well, I mean, we rushed for 330 yards. So when you're doing that, now you get them off balance. That's when you saw some of our play action game uh, showing up, and so that was good to see. And uh, um, you know, stayed ahead of the chains for the most part, and um, had them off balance. When you could get a defense off balance, you got a good chance. How much of the offensive play kind of a sense of pride thing? The defensive game playing so well, kind of carrying. I, I think there's none of that. I mean, it's just such a team. You know, it's just such a team. No, no thought of that. I think we all have a lot of confidence that the offense is just getting better and better. And you know tonight that that's you know that's pretty impressive to to you know get them like I said the biggest thing to me as a defense got to have them so off balance you know with running the ball and being able to throw. Mark, well, you said on Monday you're going to put your foot on the gas. Do you feel like the team adopted that attitude this week? Uh, there's no doubt. I think uh, again uh, as I said in my opening statement, I thought they prepared really well and were very just confident in their preparation and worked really hard and just doing the things necessary to put us in this position. Like you said several times, if you want to play in big games, you got to take care of business. It doesn't get much bigger than undefeated Georgia, undefeated Kentucky yeah. next week. What's, what's kind of the mentality going into that? Game? We, 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 we just discussed it briefly. I just said enjoy it for a few hours, but get some sleep tonight, and, and they know. Punch the clock on Monday. And coaches will be in there tomorrow morning, but uh, but players uh, we can't see them till Monday, so they need to rest up, heal up, um, get some treatment, and uh, be ready to go to work. How, how tough is Terry there? You know, he's changed. Well, I 
Yeah, yeah he, he uh, took a, a shot to his leg, and um, but he fought through it and seemed like he bounced up and really fought through it and played hard. Thoughts? Is that anything big? Or? I don't know. I don't know. Um, he took a good he took a good licking as well. Really well beforehand. Yeah. yeah, I mean that that's you know that hurts us. We're getting some guys beat up in there. Mark, not only did you run the ball well, but it seemed like up the middle was, was so open for you. Was that something that you often had? In the run game or pass game? In the run game. Yeah, well, we had some. Uh, yeah, we had some arc schemes where um, we were putting their ends in a bind, and uh, and um, it was good. Good play calls. Um, you know the guys block well, and Will had some good reads. You, you know some of the ones he pulled uh, were good pulls, and uh, so we had him. Uh, you know, touch off balance, like I said. But also, you know, that's what we do. I mean, we're going to run the ball between the tackles and be physical, and and uh, we did that. Mark, you said before the game this would be a test for your secondary. How do you think they? Did? I mean, they. They did a good job. They really competed hard. I thought we had some really good covers. I thought late some of that was um, time and operation, too much time, and he broke the pocket and contain and got the ball and pushed the ball down the field against with some talented guys. Um, and that that was a bit when the game was out of hand too, John. But you know, so when the game was in the balance, I thought the guys really stepped up and had some really good covers against some some talented guys. Again, it got a little. Messy, a little off balance late, um, and a lot of that is just again the 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 execution of game stunts. You know, contain. You can't you can't let a quarterback have that kind of time and break contain. The six wing used to be uh, something that people kind of circled, waited on, and now all the abilities kind of an afterthought. Just what does that speak to your program? Well, well right it does because my equipment manager TK, well man TK said he put out some shirts, and I think it's a big push for. Who's that? The bowl season, bowl campaign. season bowl campaign, campaign, you know, and and they put them out today, so that's good. They got a new T-shirt, so <laughs> but we want more. Sometimes prosperity can be as hard to handle. Sometimes as adversity. Uh, what went into this week, especially just the maturity they showed coming out tonight? Yeah, they they did. I just felt good about it. Like I told you guys in the meeting or in in the press conference right here on Monday that. Um, that I felt confident that they would just have a great week, and and I really did. When I went in there Monday afternoon with the team, uh, they were they were really locked in. They they had our, you know, they they just were ready to get forward for the, or look forward for this week, you know. And uh, I, I feel the same way in the locker room right there. I mean, they're happy. They celebrate a little bit, but they're ready. They're they're excited about a big opportunity next week. Mark, when you look out on the field and see Gary and Kennard down, did your life pass in front of your eyes? <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was concerned and uh, happy that it uh, doesn't appear to be anything major. Josh or Mark Warner, any of those guys back this week that weren't able? I'm not sure. Um, I'm really not sure. What do you think about? I remember how many receivers that you got out there. got really creative with the backs. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we felt like um, again with that run game, some misdirection, some of the uh, play actions off of that. Uh, run game was good, you know, and created some explosive plays. It still comes down to being able to run the ball and sets those so those plays up. Some of those throws Will had, it looked like he was moving around a lot more. Was that by design? you think he's more comfortable? Kind of? Well, I think that the, there was a little of both. I, I noticed him being very clean and poised and calm in the pocket at times tonight as well. I did, but there were, I'm sure, times when he was on the run as well. So, um just overall, I felt like he was more comfortable. When you play so well in the first half, what do you say to your team at halftime? Well, I, I, I told them that, that I was uh, excited to watch them in the second half, you know, because I was per, I was confident that they would continue to play well, and uh, they did. LSU closes to 21-7, then the team takes it down the field and scores. Do you hear the term imposing your will? Do you think – I, I do. Um, I felt like uh, you know we had a strong will and a strong desire to win, and 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 a, and a strong belief that we were going to take care of business time. Anybody else? If not, uh, players, assistant coaches over in the dining hall per usual, and thank you. And we'll see you there.